Hello everyone, myself Dr. Dinesh, one of the consultant at Progenesis IVF Center Pune. Today we are going to talk about ovulatory dysfunction. Before understanding this topic, why it is important, every ovulation has been followed by a process of fertilization and then only your dream of becoming a parent will be turning into the reality. So let's understand this ovulation in detail. Let's talk about menstrual cycle first of all. Your menstrual cycle is divided into three parts. The first part is called as follicular phase. It starts once you get your menses. After that, your follicles start increasing in the size. One follicle becomes a dominant that is called as dominant follicle and that dominant follicle get mature and get ruptured. The process of rupture is called as ovulation. And once it is ovulated, that egg will be captured by a fallopian tube. Once the egg is inside the tube, the viability is for 12 to 24 hours. In that 12 24 hour, if the sperm is there, then definitely the meetup of egg and sperm will happen and that will turn up into a baby that is called as embryo. And those embryos come into the implant cavity on 5 or 6 days after the ovulation and that is what the time of implantation. So let's understand, your menstrual cycle is controlled at three very critical points. The first point is hypothalamus, which is nothing but a part of your brain. The second point is pituitary gland and the third point is ovary. If there is any abnormality with the brain, for example, any brain tumor or any medications for your brain, for example, if you are on any medications for your stress, for example, antipsychotics, that might have a potential to irregularize your cycle. The second is pituitary. Pituitary secretes a very important hormone called as LH and FSH. And these hormones are helpful for your menstrual cycle. Any abnormalities with the pituitary, for example, if there is no supply from the hypothalamus that is GnRH or if there are any medications or any tumors which affects the pituitary definitely it causes the hormonal imbalance and the third thing is ovary if you have a low ovarian reserve or if your ovarian reserve is on the highest side that is seen in the patient of PCOS in that case is ovary dysfunction can be happening along with that certain things are very important in lifestyle the excessive weight gain or excessive weight loss can turn up into a menstrual irregularities. Along with that, if you are having a condition called as diabetes that do have a potential to irregularize your cycle. So understand these things are very very important before you embark on the path of pregnancy. So how to get corrected your menstrual irregularities? First of all, lifestyle modification. That will be always insisted if you are on certain medication which makes the hormonal imbalance. Try to avoid those medication and use the safer medicines. To induce the ovulation, there are certain medicines called as ovulation induction agents in the form of tablets and injections are available. Even despite of that, if your dreams is not turning into the reality, the advanced fertility treatment are always at your service. Believe me, the reproduction of mankind is a great marvel and mystery. Try to understand and solve it. The dreams is all yours and the reality will be tomorrow.